Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we're gonna go over the new Warframe clan operation, Gargoyle's Cry, and fully how to run it, how to get all of the items, how to get the, like, slivers, okay, how to get the item you need for the shop, all in all, it's fairly simple, so let's get to it. Gargoyle's Cry is the new post Whispers in the Wall Warframe Clan event. So you do have to complete Whispers in the Wall in order to actually do the event. How it works is pretty simple. You have to unlock it in your clan, someone builds the Jahu Gargoyle, and then everyone can run it, right? Oh, this is very simple, okay. But it's not that easy. So if you go to your navigation, click in the event, and then click Operation Gargoyles Cry, it generally tells you what to do. So how to play? Pretty simple. To join this living defense or murmur telemetry chorus, you must hunt down the power source that'll continuously power your vigil Jahu gargoyle. And now here's how you actually do it. Step one, go to your dojo and build the vigil Jahu gargoyle from your dojo decoration. So you need to be A, in a clan, in Warframe, and B, someone in your clan has to be able to decorate and build the Jahu Gargoyle. If they can't do that, you either need to leave your clan and find a new one, or create your own clan. I would recommend just going and finding a clan to join, though. Only one Gargoyle can be built per dojo, so if you don't see it in your decoration list, your clan members may have already placed it. So if it's already in there, it's already in there. If not, uh, yeah, that sucks. So, how to actually run the event once the Gargoyle Cry Gargoyle is built. Play a Fervo on Deimos to earn Operation Rewards. This is the Assassination node. You can play it normal, you can play it Steel Path, and you can play it Steel Path with 60 Eye Murmurs gathered, so hard mode, and it's harder every time. Uh, normal mode, it says you get one, two, three items, okay, well, on drop, and then I think, uh, Steel Path, you get three to five of the slivers, okay, and then on Steel Path, 60 murmurs, like eye murmurs, you still get, I think, three to five, but you, instead of getting one curse per normal mission, double curse on Steel Path, I think you get two curses for each book, okay, so you get six curses in total for the hard mode boss, which sounds weird, I know. The curses are the book pages, you can give it into your gargoyle, but we'll talk about that later. So that's essentially what you do. Play a Fervo on Deimos to earn Operation Rewards. Players must successfully defeat both the Void Angel, so now Void Angel spawn on a Fervo, the Fragmented One Assassination boss fight node, and the Assassination target in mission to earn one of the following. Curse of Knowing, Curse of Seeing, Curse of Hearing, and those are just little fragments that you can feed to the Gargoyle. So successfully defeat the assassination target, and the rewards are grotesque splinters. Again, you get one to three splinters, it seems, on normal mode, three to five on steel path, and steel path hard mode. I think it stays about the same, so it's nothing that high if you go to steel path and then steel path hard mode, right? That's only for more whispers, but I wouldn't, or curses. I wouldn't worry about that too much. And then from there, it just says, return to your dojo, feed the curses to your vigil Jahu gargoyle every week to contribute to a clan trophy, okay? So that's just for the clan trophy. There's no leaderboard, just a clan trophy. So remember to hand that in every week if you want to get high tier reward. Contribute curses each week to hit the cap and improve your uh, clan scoring, resulting in better trophies at the end. And then, step four, visit the Vigil Jahu Gargoyle to exchange grotesque splinters for various operation rewards. So, not that difficult at all. If we go into game, you can always just go here, click on event, talk to Gargoyle's uh, cry here to look at the mission. And what the Jahu reward, or I should say assassination is, is a fervo right here, not Jahu. A fervo, assassination, the murmur. So, if you have any questions about that, there you go. Let's go down to our clan to take a look at what the items that you can actually purchase are. Essentially, it's arcanes, but if you want to know what build you should use for the assassination mode, for the fragmented one, for a fervo, I would say it's actually nothing too serious. If you're just running normal mode or steel path, I'd recommend a high damage, fast attacking weapon. I was using the Cedo, I was using Torrid and Karnan, pretty sure the boss 
boss has damage uh, attenuation, right? Anyway, so you can't really like instant one-shot it as easily as you could other things, so it's not really a big deal. Bring some of your stronger, faster attacking weapons, right? This is the little clan gargoyle that people need to have built in their clan, so all you have to do is talk to that. This is where you contribute the curses. You don't really need to contribute a ton because we have so many of these already unlocked and it's pretty crazy okay it's pretty crazy you unlock a ton just by farming the boss and i think a lot of people will be able to hand those in and then you just browse wares right this is where you get all of the items so the cryos signa is the one item a lot of people are asking about so the cryos signa will unlock when you go to the event and you see that the event i guess meter is at 100 percent until the event meter is at 100 percent it's like globally i believe uh it's not gonna unlock so yeah just go to browse wares and these are all of the general items you can unlock right new signa new general color palette bunch of sigils items skin Sedi lacera basmu but more importantly you can get pretty much all of the i think Think Eidolon Arcanes, and let's just scroll to the very bottom here. You can get Arcane Barrier, you can get Arcane Grace, and you can get Arcane Energize, right? And that's really what people are excited about. You can start quickly up farming all of the lovely, lovely strong Arcanes that take an insane amount of time to farm up on uh, the Plains of Eidolon. So through Eidolons, you don't really have to farm these right now, just go do this event if possible. It shouldn't take the longest amount of time, but you're still gonna have to do like probably what, 50, 60 maybe runs to get an entire Arcane Energize R5. So it will take some time, but it's better than doing, I guess, hundreds of Eidolons. I'm already getting a good chunk of Arcane Energizes through random uh, grab bags of the Plains of Eidolon Arcane grab bags. So probably be selling these, trading them up for more Graces, Barriers, and other Arcanes. But you can get all of the gold tier rare Arcanes, right? Oh, you can get the silver tier, not bad. And then you can get a lot of the bronze tier. So if there's any Arcanes you need to look for, go look here. Mainly though, Arcane Barrier. Arcane Grace and Arcane Energize, right? That's the event. It's pretty simple. It's just you need to have a clan. You need to join a clan, okay? You just, you have to. If you're not in a clan, you can't do the clan stuff. And if you're not in a clan to do the clan stuff, how do you expect to get Arcane Energize, Grace, Barrier, or anything like that? And lastly, just to show you like the little meter that you have to hit, it's this meter that I was talking about before, right? The Murmur Telemetry Chorus Connectivity. This is, I'm pretty sure, global for everyone. So this meter is the same for everybody. When it hits 100%, that is when the Signa unlocks, and that is when everyone can then buy the Signa for one splinter, okay? But other than that, that's the event. It's literally run this mission over and over and over again. It'll take you to the right mission with the Void Angel as long as it's unlocked in your clan. And that's it. It's not a difficult event. If you need any refreshers, just straight up click the Operation Gargoyles Cry, read all of this, and then you're good to go. It's a pretty simple event. It's just the assassination node with a Void Angel. And that's literally it. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully people can run the fragmented one. I would take general shield gating and frames that don't die for you if you need it. And fast attacking, high damage crit weapons, normal stuff. It's a boss fight. It's the normal stuff. So yeah, let me know what you think. Sub, like, check out all the socials. You can use Epic Games Creator Code Pupsker if you ever buy Fortnite skins, play Fortnite, or, I don't know, Warframe, or anything on the Epic Games Store. I need to make more Fortnite creative maps and publish them and be an epic shit poster on the Epic Games Store. So we'll see how that goes. Appreciate y'all being here. Cheers, cheers.